Hi guys, going to clean my brushes today. Wait, this is a pen. Chalk that. I got this brush caddy, I think it's Soho brand, for $12.99 at Walgreens, in case you're wondering. I love it. It's awesome. Okay, a couple of items you will need. One is definitely extra virgin olive oil. This is important because this will keep your brushes nice and soft after the washing process. And second, also very important, is a dish soap that says antibacterial. Make sure it says that it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. Third thing is a bowl that you can mix the two together in for your cleaning solution. And fourth is brush guards. I got these from eBay. They were, I think, less than $4, and there's 15 in each pack, which I think is a steal because everywhere else is more expensive. Fifth thing, and ugh, ugly scratch. Fifth thing is definitely is a towel rolled up more on one end so that way the brushes won't lay flat on them. Thank God my bowl was plastic. Okay, sixth and final thing is containers to put your brushes in to dry. All right, let's get started. What I do is I actually put more dish soap into my cleaning solution than extra virgin olive oil because I want to definitely make sure that it's killing all the bacteria, bacteria that is on the brushes. I don't want that back onto my face. Take my finger and I just roll the two together and this is my cleaning solution. Let's get started. I actually rinse out my brush first before I put it in the solution. I don't know why, I just do. So I just tap it in there and I just rub the crap out of it onto my palm and doing so I could see if the suds are dirty or clear. When it's clear then it's clean and when there's no more suds coming out obviously there's no more soap on the brush. So when I do that I just squeeze the crap out of it make sure there's no water in there because I don't want the ferrule of my brush to get unglued. So I go ahead and do that to all my face brushes. As you can see, I just lather it up. Just keep lathering, just keep lathering. And you could tell, you know, how nice and white the brush looks. I mean, I love doing this. Everyone else spends a whole bunch of money on some kind of brush cleaning solution. I just use this method because this is actually what artists do for their brushes. They just use olive oil and uh, soap so that way their brushes won't get hard and it will be disinfected and works the same for makeup brushes. I mean I've been doing this forever since I had my brushes and I have not gotten any type of breakout at all and it keeps my brushes nice and clean and soft because of the extra virgin olive oil. Okay so yeah this is my stippling brush and same thing you know squeeze and just squeeze and squeeze the crap out of it. Okay, I had to put this in. In the background, you hear a bird serenading me, which is my cockatiel, Jeter. He just loves to get attention from people. Whenever someone's in the kitchen, because he's in the first floor in the dining room, he just loves to get people's attention, and he'll do so by serenading you. So this is what he's doing and I just had to put it in because I know in some of my videos before it was a bird tripping in the back and I'm like, okay, that was Jeter. He had to make a little cameo in each of my videos. Go figure. But, you know, it's my birdie. I love him. Gotta love him. Gotta have him for 20 years. So, yeah, they last that long. Anyway, back to my brushes. I do the same thing for my eye brushes. You see how dirty that one is? This is my concealer brush. Yeah, so I keep doing this until, you know, it's not dirty anymore and like I said before this is actually perfect I love doing this and yeah why spend more money than what you have to so yeah I hope this video was um, actually informative and actually um, uh, I don't even know what to say I'm stuck I lost my train of thought anyway I hope this video was good um, and I'm gonna actually show you coming right up think now yeah how I put the brush guards I mean self-explanatory just slide it through and I actually leave extra space in the front so that way they won't actually dry on their own bristles because the water that comes out of it while it's drying it's going to stay on the tip so I don't like to do that I like to have the water if any on the container not my brushes because it defeats the purpose if they still wet so yeah um 
really simple, easy video. If you have any questions, just go ahead and leave them in the comment section before. And like always, I love each and every single one of you. Appreciate all of y'all. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Also, like this video so that way I could do, you know, more videos similar to this. And yeah, if any anyone has a request for anything just go ahead and leave it in the section the comment section <laughs> I can't talk but you already know this people so yeah so definitely before I leave I'd say that once I remove the brush guard when I dry the brush has its form like it was never wet so it's perfect the brush keeps it the shapes so that's why I love these brush guards and again they're cheaper on eBay okay alright love you guys bye